Hello, Internet friends. This is Lisa, and welcome to Lisa Lou's Journal. Today, I am taking you on a December vacation kind of um, um, journaling because it's the last day of the year. Bye bye to 20, no, 2020. Is that right? 2020, do you say that in English? 2020, you're finally over. And 2021, here we come. Uh, so, this is the last thing I will do in this Hobonichi journal. Um, it's a Hobonichi Cousin Avec, the Avec version, where it's two of the journals split in the half year. Um, so you can see me here doing uh, some um, decoration with the calendar window that I had on the advent calendar. Uh, and I'm just looking through to find something Christmassy. And I think all the stickers that I'm using here is from uh, this uh, store called Tiger. T-G-R. Uh, I have a lot of them because they are easy to get when we are at our uh, shop. So I'm just uh, placing them into my journal and this is a little bit of um, things that I have collected that I was thinking I was going to put in my journal. And this Monday I was uh, at home again. Um, from work so I thought that that illustration will fit really fine there uh, the students looking at their empty teacher desk um, yeah and this is from the last day at work when me and my colleague um, switched the Christmas present with, with each other's um, yeah, and how are you doing? Uh, I hope you're all doing fine uh, in this last day of uh, December and 2020. Um, we are doing fine here at home. Uh, we are all... Um, uh, what you call that? Um, Non-sick. Uh, so we are having a good time at home during this winter holiday um, so now I'm just doing some decoration um, with a little kit from uh, a Swedish brand called Panduro and this is an old one uh, that I bought for several years ago so I'm trying to you know use up my old stuff um, yeah, and this month I did this, um, um, what you call that? I did this uh, challenge for myself. Uh, I found these uh, really cute uh, sweaters with the uh, with, um, date on it. It's from Courtney Diaz. Uh, and I thought that I would draw... Uh, this character Frasen uh, every day uh, wearing this sweater so that's been really funny uh, and I haven't been drawing Frasen this much since I was in uh, probably since I was in uh, art school like what was that 2008 um, I think that's when Frasen was born actually so I'm just uh, enjoying myself drawing her again. Um, yeah. Uh, and the thing is, I've always had a problem with drawing hands and haven't liked that so much. But I don't know what happened this uh, month because I really enjoyed drawing the hands specifically. Really. So, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Something happened. Uh, and this is, uh, I don't know where I got this 
sweet um, week of the days um, was she from. But yeah, it's it's saving me some time <laughs> when you don't have so much time. It's saving a lot of time uh, uh, that you just put it in there and then you have the name of the day. Uh, otherwise, I just write the name of the day, but then it takes a little bit more time because I want it to be pretty. Uh, and there you could see my loved, uh, very much loved planner system. Uh, that was a kind of a, I think that's a kind of a traveler's notebook, maybe. Uh, I'm not really that into traveler's notebooks, but I when I saw this um, cover, I immediately knew that I wanted to have it. It's from Planner Perfect. And I absolutely love it. It's from it's a really smooth leather, um, yeah. And I like the croc. Um, uh, what is that called? Pattern, croc pattern that it's on it. So I uh, yeah I moved into that, and I will show you that maybe in a other video. Uh, yeah, and a lot of the days uh, these days the last days i've been thinking a lot of how i'm gonna organize my planners and stuff like that and yeah i <laughs> i haven't figured it out yet even though it's the last day of december yeah uh, but that's that's okay uh, i'm um i think i have a quite of a plan for that i plan for planning yeah but we'll see I have to figure some stuff out uh, still. I haven't decided quite yet how I'm going to do it. Uh, and I probably need to sit down and think a little bit about it and get things on a paper, planning on a paper. Because I, when I plan in my head, it's just I just forget about it. Uh, so I need to sit down and really plan and write down what I need uh, for this year. Uh, when it comes to planning and um, journaling. Uh, so that will be a lot of fun, even though I'm uh, in this last minute doing the plans, but that's that's okay. I am uh, home uh, for a week or maybe a week and a half. Uh, so yeah, I think I will be uh, have time for that too. So, as you can see, when I'm uh, drawing my hands, I need to sometimes do the um, with my own hands. That's where I, why I did this little hand sign with my other hand, with my left hand, uh, so that I can see how the hand is, um, uh, how the hand looks when it's in that position. Uh, so that really helps. And sometimes I have to take um, a picture uh, on my hand or the position or whatever I'm going to draw uh, just to see how everything goes. Um, so that's a little bit of a, that's a little trick that you can use if you're into drawing and you can't really figure out. Sometimes, uh, a lot of the times actually, I always get the thumbs on the wrong side of the hand when I'm drawing. Um, so with this... Uh, looking at myself and that um, really helps with that getting all right and not uh, backwards <laughs> uh, yeah and this is the Wednesday that I'm drawing um, Fräsen I went back to work again and that was really nice to be back before the school closed uh, for Christmas holiday and these is uh, pictures that I printed out from our normal regular printer that we have at home uh, I don't know why I do this uh, with the printers um, I am um, uh, print them out on a paper 
just a, an original normal um, printer paper and then I actually go over it with the uh, tape so that it will, I think it's because I think that it will stay longer uh, because if it's getting wet or something uh, it won't take the color away from the printer paper um, so it will protect it a little bit and as you see I really go back and forth and I have been doing that um, a lot this uh, December because I uh, haven't done I haven't been sitting down usually I actually sit down uh, once uh, a day uh, to write the things that happened uh, on that day but I haven't done this during this holiday because we have done other things uh, so it's even more going back and, back and forth uh, usually I have the, the whole day quite finished and I just have to do the uh, you know finishing it up uh, but uh, this December I have really been back and forth uh, when I do my pages. Tuesdays the uh, 22 we built a gingerbread house. And there you can see I go again with the paper uh, in my hand because I was trying to draw Frasen with a paper... No, not paper. <laughs> uh, I'm being disturbed by my cat. Can you hear my cat? I know it's uh, Sakapa the cat and not uh, Tiko the cat. We have two of them. Uh, but it's always Sakapa the cat who makes uh, the most noise. Uh, and I have the door closed, so <laughs> he's really unhappy. Such an unhappy cat. Yeah, and I will get uh, to him as soon as this um, video is um, over. Uh, yeah, what was I talking about? I lost myself there because of the cat. Oh, I really lost myself. I, d <laughs> I don't remember. It was like two seconds ago. What did I talk about? I have no idea. Oh well, yeah, we made a gingerbread house. Thank you, brain. Uh, <laughs> we made a gingerbread house and I was uh, um, trying to draw Frasen uh, with a gingerbread piece in her hand. And I couldn't get it right. So I put a paper in my hand to see uh, and look how it uh, looks when I'm holding a paper in my hand. So I can draw Frasen holding a paper in her hand. Um, and I just uh, fill my drawings in with a piece of, what is that pen? That can be a Stedler maybe? Um, a Stedler drawing pen, I think it is. I can't really see. Um, And this is the day when we did our wrapping the Christmas gifts. So Frasing is holding a gift paper and a, what you call that little present paper. It's called in Swedish. No, present snöre. Uh, what is that called in English? Present? Mm, no, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, so we did that on the last day before uh, us celebrating Christmas at the 24th. Um, so we put the, all the Christmas gifts under the tree uh, because that's where Santa Claus put his Christmas gifts when he comes down the chimney. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, and on... 24th we did celebrate home uh, just uh, the family uh, me my um 
Matthias and our two kids, and we did this. Uh, what you call that? Um, called our uh, beloved ones uh, through internet. Yeah, so that we could meet, kind of meet, uh, but not for real. And this was a lovely day because we went out to the snow. So I'm drawing um, Frasen uh, holding a snowball in her hand. Uh, um, and yeah, uh, she was pretty cold that day because I, she didn't wear her outdoor pants. And now I think we're going to switch over to real time uh, so I can show you the finished result. Oh, here I am. I'm back. Just like I haven't been gone. <laughs> so let's see uh, the finished result of December, last day of the year. Um, where did we end off the last time? It was the week 49, so now I'm on week 40, uh, no, 50. So week 50, we were getting back to reality. We've been at home, uh, sick, and the kids were going back to school. And they were really tired, so they fall, fell asleep. Uh, my son on the, on the floor, actually, and uh, uh, Matthias on the sofa. Um, that's a Monday, a Monday, Monday, and on Tuesday I was starting to feel that I could go back to work after being uh, ill for a long time, so I was starting to plan my um, uh, lessons and we were going to talk about uh, uh, the Nobel Prize, so I was just uh, looking up uh, everything and got so amazed uh, of the price and the the thing they were gonna get the price for like the black uh, do you call that a black hole uh, in english i'm just that just <laughs> i'm totally amazed by that um yeah and then i got back to to work and i was uh, also joining a hovenichi um, um zoom meeting uh for the first time and it was so nice it was uh, maria from um i think her youtube channel is called planner mother of three i think uh, i will uh, uh, write it down in the description for you she's uh, she's lovely uh, and she's doing a, a beautiful youtube channel with yeah you should go and look her up if you haven't seen her already Yes, yeah, so th I, th I did that. And Thursday, that was the day of the Nobel, uh, Nobel Day, uh, Nobel Dagen. Um, so yeah, we got dressed. <laughs> we got to, we, we were going to be dressed up a little bit, uh, and I have my hair up in a. Um, f do you call that a French bun? You know when you when you twist it up. Uh, and the first comment I, uh, I got from my students, one of my students, were, "Hey, you, you, you look like a guy." <laughs> that was just okay. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, <laughs> so that was funny. And we had a, a great day at work that day. Uh, me being uh, a guy and everything. <laughs> And then on Friday, I lost my voice. Uh, I don't know if that was, uh, you know, I, we had COVID-19 and if that was some kind of connection with that, but it was totally gone. I couldn't speak, I couldn't do anything, uh, you know, with my voice. Uh, so that was uh, weird. And I, when I tried to speak, it sounded like I was some kind of, you know, when you can't get the tone right. It was weird, really weird. So I just thought I was gonna, you know, try to be quiet um, as much as I could during the uh, 
um, week weekend. So on Saturday the 12th we uh, got uh, our Christmas tree. Uh, we bought it um, and I, we picked it really we were really picky about the tree um, and then our cousins came home to us um, I mean the kids cousin my sister and her kids were home playing um, and then it's on 13 it's uh, Lucia so the kids went out on the um, what do you call that you know when you living in these uh, apartments you have a little place where you can be outside playing where the neighbors can meet up you know maybe you know what I mean uh, so all the kids in the neighborhood uh, did this uh, Lucia talk I don't know what that's called in English you know when they're singing and celebrating um, yeah and on Monday I decided to stay home uh, because my voice uh, wasn't good, uh, it was still really bad and I was also having coughing so I didn't know if that was going to be worse or if it's going to get better. So yeah, I stayed at home so the students probably wonder where I were. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, and then on Tuesday yeah, we had finally got to say bye bye to you know um, so I think yeah, that was the day that we went official that he was to be going off his kind of weird mission if you ask me uh, yeah, uh, anyway <laughs> uh, so I went back to, to work on Wednesday because I was feeling fine and the coffin was doing, it was almost all gone. Um, yeah, so that, I was really happy about that because uh, on Friday the holiday uh, started so I just wanted to be with my um, uh, students the last day so I was happy about that. And on Thursday I actually went to uh, this... Um, uh, to shop uh, because I thought it was pretty safe me having already had the COVID-19 and that I couldn't give it to uh, another uh, people so I did go to a shop to buy we have this uh, little tradition in our home that we buy a new uh, Christmas tree ornament uh, for the kids or the kid can choose one uh, so when they are leaving home and moving from home when they're grown up they can have the their own little set of Christmas tree ornaments and I also tag them with the year so they have one from um, you know from when the the first Christmas and yeah to when they move I think that's gonna be really nice uh, and then this was the last day at work for the before the holiday uh, so that was really nice uh, to be able to be at work and say Happy Christmas or Happy New Year to, to my colleagues and to my students. Um, yeah, and on Saturday we were, <laughs> this was, our neighbor's dog uh, ran away, uh, had run away actually on this day. Uh, but we heard of it on the 19th, so we went out looking for her. Uh, her name is Trasla. Uh, and we were out for like maybe two hours looking for her because uh, we were really sad that she was had run away uh, but then we got a, a, a text saying that she was back and she was fine and that was really a happy moment so we had pizza <laughs> we celebrated with pizza uh, Sunday we did go uh, rent a car and go and look at the summer house because we want to have a summer house we want to buy a summer house so that we can be out in the nature more uh, 
so we went it's like two hours by car uh, and it was a really rough ride uh, because we all we three in the back seat always get a little bit um in swedish you know when you're starting to feel um like you're gonna throw up <laughs> what is that called uh you know when you drive when you go by car and then you feel sick uh, so that's always a problem when we go by car somewhere uh, me being you know car travel sick and my kids or our kids also it's kind of hard to be in the back seat trying to focus on the roads and f both the kids are need to be focused on also so but we so right, <laughs> uh, but we didn't. Um, uh, we wasn't interested in the this uh, summer house because, yeah, some it wasn't what we thought that we want to have. Uh, and on Monday we had that Taco Monday, Christmassy as it gets. <laughs> Tuesday, uh, Matthias and the kids did this gingerbread house it was really good because it comes in this um, already made forms so it's just uh, decoration and putting it together uh, and that is all fine with us because our kids like decoration more than the uh, forming the um, um, the gingerbread um, so they had a really nice time Wednesday the 23rd and that's the day before we celebrate Christmas here in Sweden so we just made our um, Christmas gifts we wrapped them in so yeah and this is a Christmas celebration day here in Sweden uh, we had an um, internet me meeting <laughs> with my mom and the other relatives. Uh, so we got to see them at least uh, over the internet. Uh, and we just celebrated me and Matthias and the kids. As you see, I've been thinking that I gonna, I'm not going to show the faces. I've been a little back and forth with the kids because they can't really decide by themselves so i thought that it would be much more nicer of me not showing their face for the whole internet um, kind of so i found I, I didn't found i had this and then i remember i can use these ones too so that makes pretty cute <laughs> Yeah, and uh, on the 25th it uh, went snowing, uh, so that was really fun. Uh, so the kids and Matthias uh, went out uh, t t making a snowman. And I was uh, still in uh, doing some stuff that I needed to do. Uh, and I accidentally ordered, <laughs> made a double order. I don't know how it, how that came to be, but yeah. Uh, and on <coughs> Saturday, uh, I went out in the snow too, and so we had a little snow day together uh, because we knew that the snow were going away until Sunday. So we, yeah, we figure we better get out and play in the snow before it's all gone. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> on Sunday, I didn't draw. Uh, Frasen, I put my own little face there instead uh, because I had this photo that I wanted to put in because most often you forget to f take photos of yourself no I don't but <laughs> that was just a lie um, yeah I'm trying to take photos of me too to put in here because I, this I'm thinking that this will be for my kids in the future so i'm thinking that they probably want me to show up once in a while too um yeah on sunday i have this really 
long day just thinking about how I'm going to do with my um, journals and planners and I go back and forth and I haven't decided anything yet because I can't decide and then I thought I decided and then I didn't so yeah so I'm going to sit down and, and try to think that over uh, tomorrow maybe uh, Monday we had our neighbor kids uh, joining us and that was so much fun they are uh, similar age as our kids so they're playing really nice together so that was really fun uh, and Tuesday um, Mila lost one of her teeth and I think that's uh, disgusting <laughs> I really don't enjoy these loose teeth and ugh, no um, and all the kids I work as a teacher with the with the smaller kids and they think it's so fun showing me their loose teeth, teeth uh, because they know that I I'm a little bit uh, disgusted about that. <laughs> and Mila does too, so she was really showing me her teeth. And the funny thing about that teeth was that it, was <laughs> it disappeared suddenly. It was all gone. We didn't know where it is. She was putting on the table and then the next uh, second it was all gone. So I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I will probably find it under my pillow or something. Yeah having nightmares about that <laughs> and then on yesterday uh, I actually went to both hair saloon and the nail saloon uh, so I had a little bit of a me day uh, and that wasn't planned it was just that they, they didn't have other times that I can go um, so I needed to do um, that yesterday both of them both of the things uh, yeah and that's this is today and I haven't quite uh, been doing my uh, this last day because I want to have it I'm probably gonna do some pictures and stuff here I just put this uh, couldn't be as uh, little rabbit uh, <laughs> she she was so cute I think she was it looks like she's hoping for positive things to happen but a little bit unsure about the new year uh, and that's how I feel I I'm I I hope that it's going to be a good year and I, I really, you know, want that to happen. But uh, I s still feel that it's too early to to say that it's all fine uh, with the COVID situation. So, yeah, but I, I think this year is going to be a good year in comparison to, to this, this year. Yeah, so that's all for... Uh, today and I will say happy birthday <laughs> not happy birthday oh my god uh, no uh, happy new year of course <laughs> I want to wish you a happy new year and I hope that uh, the year coming is gonna be uh, a great year for all, all of you so take care now uh, and I see you in the next year Pusakam. bye